In this video, we're basically going to be making a mail bomber. Um, what a mail bomber is, is as it says on the tin kind of thing, it's going to just send however many emails we say with whatever subject and whatever message to one to an email here. Um, basically, spamming them. Um, the best it's not going to be useful for anything, any big um, spamming things like spamming. Um, to make money or anything really but if you want to just annoy your friends kind of thing um, just mess about with then it's just something else to to have a go at kind of thing um, I'll just say I'm signing an MSN and we're just going to um, spam my MSN with five messages just so you can see I mean you can put this to whatever you want to see it get very annoying for the um, other person kind of thing and if you just want to have a joke with your friends then it's the perfect kind of thing to do that um, they're going to pop up slow on MSN, slower than they actually are sending. Um, this is simply because it has to actually receive them and then process them. They can go a bit faster, but it's usually about a second per message. I mean, if you put 50 on there, it's going to pop up with them for a minute constantly, and that's going to really annoy somebody. Um, yeah, I think we'll get straight into it. Um, basically, this is the layout. What you want, I'm, I'm not going to go through... Um, because I'm going to put the entire project file into the description anyway in the download link and I've decided to start a blog kind of thing, a WordPress blog um, that's endax.net and you can go on there and I'll have all the code for this video um, the project files, the end XE if you want to just have a go with the XE um, all that kind of thing so just head on over to there if um, that's what you want to you don't want to pay attention to how it all works um, if you want to carry on watching and see how the code works and if you want to make this from scratch for a bit of a learning kind of process then carry on um, by all means. Basically what we've got, yeah, in normal cases I'd rename all these boxes and everything to your username, um, password 2 and all that kind of thing, um, text box 2. Um, but for the simple purpose of you can just copy the code straight off if you want then I've decided to just keep them as textbox1 etc and that's what I'm going to because it's easy then to say textbox1, textbox2, textbox3 that kind of thing um, rather than making you rename them all and then possibly getting spelling errors and things like that so what you're going to need is you're going to need six text boxes um, you, gmail username, gmail password, that's your username and your password to, that's who you send it to, the subject of the email, um, text box 5 is messages and then text box 6 is the amount of messages you want to send. Message here is the big whatever you want to send in the message basically. Um, I've put labels on them all, I mean you don't have to if you don't want to but obviously it's going to be easier that way. Um, so once you've got it like that or just download it off the description or off my website um, then we can go on to the next step. You won't going to want to add a timer from your toolbox. If you don't know where the timer is, and um, we'll just get the toolbox up. Where is it? Oh, we're in debug. That's why. Let me just close the debug toolbox. There we go. Um, timer is is down here in the component section. Just double click and add one of them, and um, you'll be sorted. Okay, now what you want to do is um, you want to go over to your code. Why does this keep popping out? The first step, what we need up here, I'm going to explain this code and why it's here. I mean, it'll be a lot easier if you go and download the project file and then you can follow through it and you don't have to copy it out kind of thing. There's no point copying it out when there's the project file there for you. But I will explain what each part's for. Um, the import system.net.mail up here is basically so we can use the mail functions built into the .NET framework. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, so I don't need to go into that. And um, we declare an integer here called count. Count is basically, and why does it keep doing that? Uh, count is basically this is going to the count gets the value from this and this is obviously the amount that we want to send and then it kind of counts down until it hits zero and then it stops sending them, that kind of thing it's pretty self-explanatory oh cancel what are we doing here mouse keeps clicking out cancel there we go okay oh 
There we go. Okay. In the next part of what we're going to look at here is the what happens when we click the button. So you want to double click your send button so you get the little code here. And what we're going to add in here is count equals val. Basically when you put val before anything and then put whatever you want in brackets, it's going to get the value of that so it can convert a string to a value. Obviously if the string isn't isn't a number, it's going to come up with an error. So you want to make sure that um, before you click send, you've got. Oh, there we go. Make sure you you've got something in the amount box that's a number. Um, and then just timer one dot start. Timer one dot starts basically starts the timer. Um, that's self-explanatory as well. I don't think we need to go into detail about that. Um, and then next step is you want to double click on your timer here and this is it's a come up with timer tick um, basically this is what happens every time the clock ticks kind of thing so if the count equals ah oh, we've got forgot a bit of code here if the count equals zero then I'll just add something in here we've made a mistake timer one dot stop or else we're never going to stop. Okay, so if count equals, if the count is bigger than zero, so if there's more, so if the amount we want to send is bigger than zero, then this is going to start. Um, we basically, this bit is just declaring a new mail message and getting the values of, so the from box is our username, the Gmail username, um, who we're sending it to, is what's in text box 3, the subject text box 4, body text box 5, that's all self-explanatory. Um, here we declare a new SMTP um, mail client and we're using the Gmail because we're going to be using a Gmail account. Um, the port and the credentials here, this is our username and password. I mean it's all self-explanatory, I mean if you download, go and download the project file and look through it, it's um, there's nothing complicated here, you'll be able to understand it all. And then if the count isn't bigger than zero, then we'll stop the timer. That's what we forgot put in before. Um, that really is it. There isn't nothing else you need. It's all self-explanatory. It's all easy. There's, there's hundreds of ways to actually make an email bomber. You can add a start and stop button instead. You can. You don't have to use a timer. You could use a wait um, kind of thing. Um, I just did it this way because it was just quick and um, it's the first way that came to mind. Yeah, but I made it in just a couple of minutes just earlier. I was thinking of some ideas that I can make for good videos. Um, literally, I think that's about it. It's um, really easy to use. As I say, I'll put it all on my blog, put it in the description. And if you want to go have a look at it, then it, um, go ahead. It's fun for you um, to mess about with your mates or whatever on MSN, that kind of thing. Um, as I say, you'll need to register a Gmail account. It's only going to work with Gmail because that's the smtp server we're using and it isn't an email spoofer um, if you change this here because obviously if you put the from address here it allows you to specify a from address but if you put that in um, it's going to get the most hotmail gmail and all them is going to automatically delete you delete the email as soon as it comes through so there's no point um, changing that really I mean you can create email spoofers but they're a lot more advanced and there's um, they take a lot more time well they're not more time but more effort to make kind of thing. Um, I might do that in a future video. But I think that's about it. Um, yeah, I'll try to get some more videos up this week and uh, see you guys.